Hey guys and welcome back to Simon's Rants. This is our first thoughts of Stan and Ollie. Now this is Paul in case you don't remember from last year and uh, in case you don't know Stan and Ollie is a semi biopic about Laurel and Hardy. It's kind of a biopic I say because it's only the last few years that they're together doesn't really focus on their whole careers just a specific point in time so I was a huge fan of Laurel and Hardy growing up but Paul actually has never seen any Laurel and Hardy stuff before so why don't you give a brief a little opinion on what you saw today <laughs> well I liked it mm -hmm. um, I didn't really know much about them like you said um, I didn't grow up with them so I I think from the trailer that I saw a couple months ago I knew that this was gonna be like a little later in their careers I didn't know that it was um, like after their movie career was over I thought it was gonna be like the waning years in the movie business so um, but I still really enjoyed it. I didn't know, like I guess I didn't know anything about their history or especially this part of their mm -hmm. uh, professional careers, but I really enjoyed it. Um, and they seem like they looked the part too. We were able to yeah. do the part as well, really well. Yeah, I was actually surprised that it told as much of the story as it did. I kind of had the feeling that it was gonna show even less than that. So I was glad uh, that it did give, I'm not going to give anything away until spoilers, but it did give, uh, especially through flashbacks, a bit more of their original fight. Um, I thought, looking at the trailer, that it was just going to be post-breakup type situation, and it did have some more than just that. Um, and I do agree, they've looked the part, they had really good impressions. Um, for me, I felt like it never really got past good impressions like they were great impressions but to me it always seemed like it, it was people doing impressions it never felt like they were the actual characters if that makes sense i was surprised it was almost like a uh, bromance buddy <laughs> type movie which I was not expecting at all and I loved it for that it was really good for that like i said i didn't know um, anything about their marriages either mm -hmm. or um what their professional life was like after movies so this was kind of cool to know that they did like stage mm -hmm. um stage acts again right I, I knew figured that they probably started out that way before they got into and movies Bondville and stuff mm -hmm. yeah yeah but I, yeah like I, said, I didn't know that they toured england on stage again um so like it's it's a pretty cool a uh, little bit of this history right into the, their um their careers but which seemingly yeah. was uh accurate i looked it up because i was curious and i couldn't find anybody complaining about it i'm not a oliver and uh oliver and <laughs> stanley uh like genius or anything i'm not a buff on them i don't know how accurate it is but i did a little bit of research and it seemed like nobody had any complaints about it so that leads me to believe that it's pretty accurate, I would guess, and I would hope. Because uh, if that's how it went down, awesome. It's a, it's a really cool story. Like, it could have been... I mean, it could have been a sad story based off the, the subject matter of it's them at the end of their career. They're in their 60s. They're having health failure and all these different things. It could have been a really sad movie, but it was really uplifting. Like, like just the way it all come it came together at the end you're like happy like you you're you're cheering them on and you want them to succeed like you almost want to cheer in the movie theater and then you're like oh they're not actually here <laughs> i shouldn't cheer for them <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i'd say if you like uh true stories um especially if they're more accurate to yes. the true history <laughs> Um, that's like the greatest showman. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, if you like thing, uh, movies that are based on true stories, um, even if you don't know anything about Laurel and Hardy, I would say mm -hmm. check it out because mm -hmm. it's still. Um, I wasn't bored at all through the movie. No, I wasn't mm -hmm. either. Yeah, it's not like a um, like a typical Hollywood movie that's going to be released in the summer or anything mm -hmm. like that. But I would say it's a very entertaining movie. Very. Um, um, not it's slow a good at time. All. Yeah, it's a good Have time. Fun. Yeah, and you do care about all the characters. Well, the ones you're supposed to. You do care for them. You do feel for them, and you want to see how it goes. You want to see good things happen to them. You want to see it all work out. And I just really enjoyed the performances. I mean, I've got one small critique. I felt like I don't know. Once again, I don't know what they acted like when they were off. Uh, off set off the stage or whatever mm -hmm. but I felt like a couple times they were acting too much like their characters like small spoiler you've got a scene where they're carrying a suitcase up a staircase 
and then it they let go when it slides down because he checked his watch and so he lets go of the suitcase and then they're like oh well that's gone forever and it's like i just i feel like they weren't like that in real life i don't know correct me if i'm wrong but like though that was a, a bit that was what their characters would do i don't feel like they had been doing that in real life but um that was early on in the movie and i felt like it died off by the middle of the movie and they weren't doing that anymore so that was good but it, definitely early on i was like eh, <laughs> that's the character that's not them mm -hmm. and then later on when the a character's talking to them about a piano sketch and he's describing mm -hmm. the exact describing same thing. Exact same I, was like, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, so this is where they got the suitcase bit earlier. So. Uh -huh. They check into a hotel and they're like doing a bit as they're checking into the hotel, like they're messing with the bell. And it's like, mm -hmm. I feel like that wouldn't happen. But I guess this was like their first time being together in a while, so maybe they're like just playing around, messing around with each other. I don't know. I just, I didn't feel like. They did that every time. They would <laughs> book into a hotel. It's like, here, let's put on a bit. I feel like they'd be like, hey, can we get to our room now, please? Mm. I don't know. I thought it was a good, solid movie. I wouldn't classify it as great or anything. I definitely want to own it and watch it again. But I... I I don't know if it's going to be winning any awards or anything. But I definitely recommend to go see it. Um, especially if you're a fan of them. Um, even if you're not, though, apparently you can enjoy it anyway. Uh, but if you're a fan of them especially, I think you'll really enjoy being able to see them. They recreate different um, skits and sketches and dances and song numbers and stuff all throughout the movie. It's just really a treat to watch. Like, you could tell the people making this movie were big fans of of them originally, of Laurel and Hardy originally. Like, you can tell because there was so much heart that went into this movie, so much care and so much commitment to it. So I really think that if you're a fan of them, then you're going to really enjoy this movie because I know I did. So we're going to move into spoilers. So that's all we've got for now, um, unless you want to stick around for that. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye. So spoilers. Are there many? Um, I guess a big thing is, <laughs> like I was saying, though, I really enjoyed the ending where, like, I don't know how accurate it is that like he had the heart attack and then he came back to finish the trip, but that was just fun. Like I really enjoyed that. Like I was worried for his health. I'm like, why are you doing this? Just retire. Yeah. <laughs> but then like he gets up and he's like, I'm gonna do the dance, and you're like, ah! <laughs> and then he's doing it, and you're like, good, good, but please sit down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like he's sweating and he looks like he's about to die, and you're like, ah. And then he's done, you're like, yay! Yeah, so that's uh -huh. <laughs> that's one good thing that the movie did is it made you care about them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you care about them because, like you said, you're kind of on the edge of your seat for the mm -hmm. last couple of performances right. because you know how fragile his health is. And, yeah, like you said, there's one point where they're doing the dance and, like, I saw, like, a bunch of sweat, like, spray off of his hand at yeah. one point. And I was like, oh, he's, he's sweating buckets uh, yeah. right now. And I, I was expecting, I, I mean, I... I think it was 50-50 in my mind since I don't know anything about them, but I was mm -hmm. half expecting him to collapse again on stage. Yeah, I was too. And or at least like half stumble and then get up and finish or something. Yeah, I, but I, I wouldn't have been surprised if he had just like collapsed, maybe not died, died. but like <laughs> but like collapsed um, finally um, on that last performance. Yeah. So yeah, to see him like make it through to the end and like seeing his wife's like nervousness too right. like, you're like oh i know how she's feeling but that yeah. it did that really good it was a really good ending in how yeah. it was done setting up that ending i will say though there was a couple times though that i didn't feel like they set up the exact moment um in history very well like you didn't realize that show was the last show until like right before the dance or during the dance at some point or something because like I mean you know it's the last leg of the tour but they don't explicitly say this is our last performance until at some point during the performance I felt like it would have been even more dramatic if it they could have said that like I don't know and I feel like there's a couple other times in the movie where they did that too it's not a major yeah. complaint but I felt like they could have let us know a little bit earlier maybe on a couple of those mm -hmm. I don't know minor complaint and um do you know what was going on when uh laurel got a new british partner on that one play because i i guess he just couldn't go through with performing yeah and he just told somebody he backed out of it last mm -hmm. second um and once again i don't know how accurate that is because i knew 
a little about them, but I didn't know like their whole history. Like I knew that they broke up because of contract stuff, and I knew that then they blamed each other for it, and then they got back together, and then they retired. But I didn't know. I don't know the intricacies of it. But how the movie portrayed, yeah, he just he backed mm-hmm. out of it. He couldn't make himself do it, which is cute. <laughs> um, like I said, it's a very big bromance type movie, which I wasn't expecting. But yeah, feel good. <laughs> John C. Riley looked really warm <laughs> <laughs> that whole time. Yeah, <laughs> I believed him when he was limping around, and he probably was. <laughs> but um, no, my favorite little snippet—it wasn't even part of the movie anymore. It was the end credits when, when it's giving a little what happened, and it says, and then his he, his health continued to fail, and he died, and then um, and then Laurel uh, retired, but he kept writing scripts for them until he died, and I was like. Mm-hmm. That made me believe the rest of it a lot more when it showed that. Like, I felt like that that really explained something about his character that the movie was trying to get across. I'm like, that... <laughs> that hits you. And you're like, oh. And I thought it was really cool, too, that I'm betting... I don't know, but I'm betting that there was no footage at all of that Robin Hood movie. They never actually got to make it. So I thought it was really cool that they actually got to act out that scene that they'd been working on uh, from the Robin Hood movie because they were able to um, make that scene that Laurel and Hardy never got to and but always wanted to. So I thought that was really mm-hmm. cool. Um, it'd be interesting to see if they made... I almost feel like they could have and should have made just a Laurel and Hardy movie like for mm-hmm. them or something because like I said it felt like they were trying to act them out in their characters at times when they shouldn't have been so it felt like they wanted to be the characters more than they did uh, more than they were supposed to be so mm-hmm. I don't know I would be interested if they did a movie like that where they just took one of the scripts that never got made and made it or something like that mm. they could should they? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a fun little experiment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they did really good. Really, good. they had really good impressions. They nailed most of their mannerisms, and their voices were really good. And they just naturally looked like them, so that helped a lot. And they did their own singing too. Yeah, well, <laughs> most of it. <laughs> Not the high pitched part, I don't yeah. think. <laughs> and I actually did end up enjoying. Uh, the wives in this life in the trailer. I didn't like the wives at all. Like I thought they were annoying <laughs> But they ended up being really funny in this the only annoying character was the producer. He was so annoying mm-hmm. every time He smiled I wanted to punch him in the face <laughs> <laughs> like, I really did <laughs> Yeah, Oliver Hardy. Yeah, mm-hmm. his his wife Cause like she's she's got that really high pitched voice that can be like really annoying, but she didn't end up being annoying No, overall. she wasn't annoying at all. Yeah, you really liked her. You really ended up liking her and then the Russian one <laughs> was <laughs> annoying, but she ended up being funny enough that you were okay with it. And then even by the end of it, you kind of saw that she had a good side, too. So, it portrayed everyone nicely. Mm-hmm. I hope it's accurate. I don't want to be... <laughs> I don't want another Bohemian Rhapsody where I think it's accurate, and then I leave the theater and check, and then I'm like, oh, good. There was zero accuracy in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I really like their relationship. That's all I can say about the movie, and I'll keep saying it over and over again. The chemistry, the bromance, it was awesome. I could have watched them. I could keep watching them if they made more movies. I don't know that they would. I don't think they would. But if they wanted to, they could make... A bunch more of these like just recreating different scripts or whatever and I would watch them they they really did justice to it and you could tell that from the director writers and actors they all were passionate about this project and it, it was evident so yeah I liked it and I think we're gonna leave it at that so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and bye you can say bye bye <laughs>